Hi everyone, my name is uh, Dr. Carlos Rodriguez. I want to show you this new case. It's a thermite, uh, two year old. We are at the stables in the racetrack in Caracas, Venezuela. As you see, it's completely lame of the left uh, hand. Okay. So the first thing I do when I check a, a, any horse, I look at the eyelids and check the third cartridge. And then the brachiocephalic and the stratocephalic muscle. And uh, there is a pain reaction. The water uh, lactic acid. And then I go, uh, I take the knee. So I hyperflex the carpal joint. So the tendons touch with the arm. And there is no sign of pain. Then I get the uh, I check uh, during the hyperflexion <laughs> of the fetal joint. There is no pain at all. Then uh, I will check the uh, interphalanx joint, and uh, there is a sign of reaction when I hyperflex the proximal and distal. Interphalanx joint. So it's the first uh, thing I I can see that is pain. So then I will go to the digital pose. I will go to the medial and lateral side. Exactly here and here. I will barely touch. With my fingertips, I will check uh, the the pulse, how strong it is. I can barely feel the the pulse, so I can imagine there is no much swelling inside the hoof. Okay, if I look at the Annular ligament, there is a bump here in the annular ligament. So I'm gonna check back again. There is pain in the annular ligament. Okay. And I'm gonna double check the interphalanx joint. And there is a, a pain reaction. I'm going to check the coronary band from one wall to the other. The medium wall, I'm going to make a pressure with my fingertip to see if there is an abscess trying to develop in the coronary band and or the lobes. I cannot feel the there is the reaction here in the bulbs. Not with my not with the nail, with my fingertips. There is a pain reaction. I th then I touch the hood. And there's a, a little temperature here. Uh, one inch below the coronary band. Uh, the horseshoe for the rock to protect the navicular area. And uh, this this bear on the radiograph shows a uh, fetal osteitis. Uh, decalcification of the larger border of the thorphalic. So we're gonna use the hoof testers. 
Dummy. It's all the hoof testers I use. I gotta take the larger the water. I go step by step. And there is a little reaction. Not a big pain. I can feel between my legs. And there is a little reaction in the navicular area. But the, the worst area that I feel the pain is here in the lungs and in the proximal and the distal interphalanx joint. I'm gonna double check again to make sure. And yes, there is a pain in the wall. Get that. There is pain in the wall. And there is pain in the proximal uh, and distal interphalanx joint. So I don't think the the hoof is very much related to the big pain that this uh, beautiful hair shows Sally. She can barely walk. Too much pain. I'm gonna modify the shoes. I'm gonna put another kind of therapeutic uh, shoes. But it's gonna be tomorrow or after tomorrow. I just came to check and they're gonna use uh, anti inflammatory drugs. My name is Dr. Carlos Rodriguez. I am from Caracas, Venezuela. And this is Kawaii Salute.